So about a year ago, I was offered this scaffolding, this tower, or where there's two of them, two towers of scaffolding, for free. They just wanted it gone. And I, I thought the wheels were awesome, big old casters. They probably hold a couple of thousand pounds a piece. But I let it slide, had a lot going on, didn't pursue it. And now that I have a boat coming that I'm going to renovate, I thought it would be nice to have the boat on a cradle in my driveway. Or not on a boat trailer, but on a cradle where I could move it around, spin it around, pull it in the sun in the winter, and pull it in the shade in the summer. So I, uh, I went back and the scaffolding was still available. So we got it and brought it over here and I worked on it the other day. I took the wheels apart and put some grease on them and I fixed some loose tires with some nuts and bolts and I went and measured up the boat that I am procuring and I need to make a um, dolly cradle for the boat and it needs to be four foot wide and about nine feet long so that's what we're going to do this morning. So the horizontal beams that came with this um, scaffold frame make a five foot square and I need a four foot by ten so I'm gonna have to cut some of them in half and make them shorter and cut some of them in half and add long, make them longer so now this is just a basic metalworking um, project I get to use my cheap Harbor Freight um, chop saw which works pretty good for lightweight stuff cuts pretty quickly and the blade lasts a long time and I take the tubes and grind off the um, galvanized because I do need a good weld here it's gonna not collapse and not let the boat fall on my head um, used angle iron to line the um, pipes before I welded them back together and I had to make sure that the brackets lined up um, this caster somebody had taken a maul to the little locking ring so I had trouble getting the little brackets to fit in there but I got it straight enough at least on two sides where I could get the brackets to lock in now this was one of the things that attracted me to this scaffold deal is I can take it apart it's just uh, locked together and I pulled out some boards from my runners I brought them home glued them together and brought them back um, welded some little flat plates on the roll around scaffold <clears throat> to spread the load out a little bit and I cut and welded some little brackets to be able to bolt the boards down hold them steady this thing needs to be pretty strong um, the, the brackets the scaffold brackets I think are great I just needed to make sure that my part is going to be strong enough then I found a clip that I could use to clip the timber back to the vertical part of the leg to make sure that it doesn't flop over sideways and cut them in half so I'd have four of them and then the more I looked at this thing the more it bugged me I needed 12 inches between the keel and the wood roughly here I have 14 so I could cut two off the wood but the boat's still gonna be too high it would be too awkward to get the boat off the trailer and get it up high enough to get on top of this thing and plus I just needed as low to the ground as possible for stability and you know ease of getting in and out so I'm cutting these crossbars at the end in half and fabricating these angle iron drops try to get the boat a little lower when it sits on the frame my welding is usually pretty iffy but because this uh, pipe is pipe and not tubing is fairly heavy wall and this angle iron is fairly heavy wall I was able to turn up the heat and get some good wells and I got a lot of inches of wells so I'm pretty confident that strength will not be an issue on this uh, fabrication so I got the first drop set into place and welded on the top. Still got to flip it over and weld the bottom. And I cut the original pipe flush and I'm going to cut some little squares and weld over that to tie the pipe more to the angles. So these parts are held together with these little wedge clips and once they're in place you can put a bolt through them so there's absolutely no way they can accidentally come undone. Yeah, I'm lifting up the boat to put the dolly under it. And this would have been a lot easier if the boat would have stuck out past the trailer, but the trailer sticks out past the boat right now. So I picked up the um, trailer with the boat on it with the um, floor jack in the middle, and then the floor jack's in the way. 
So I'll put a little bottle jack, a little screw jack on each side. So now I can lower that floor jack and get it out the way and put some crisscross braces on those two 2x4s. Two and then when we lift the trailer down, hopefully they will hold up the boat. We'll see. The good thing is it can't fall to the ground because the trailer will still be under it until I'm pretty happy about the security of the whole deal. So the two struts at the back I got braced uh, so they can't move side to side. And up front I've got the trailer picked up. It's high enough where it is. I've got this bottle jack under the trailer and I got this floor jack kind of as a backup. So if I can put a stack of wood and hold it like that and lower the trailer and hopefully the boot will stay put long enough to get the dolly under it. I'm going to try to get the uh, jack out from under the trailer. Okay, so this jack is bottomed out, but the wheels are still not on the ground. And in the back, the th same thing is going to happen. We're going to have to move the jacks at least once before this works. Two of my jacks are these very old screw jacks and they're a little slower to operate but they're like you know they're forever when you set them a certain height you can leave them for months and months you don't have to worry about them leaking down. Okay the bo boat is supported by the two 2x4's two in the back and a stack of wood in the front and the trailer is on the ground so if I can move the trailer forward a little bit. Now I can put a, a nice stack of wood under that keel and hold some weight better. So I put one of my jacks under the middle of the back. I probably should have put a stack of wood. It would have been a little more stable. And I added a vertical strut and some cross bracing. And the boat is heavy, but it's really just a haul right now, so it's not crazy heavy. And I moved the trailer forward until I hit my stack of wood, my blocks. So what I have to do now is jack the boat up off of these blocks and put another stack of blocks behind this cross member of the trailer roll it forward a foot or two until I hit the second cross member and repeat and do it over and over again it's kind of time consuming it's not really hard since the majority of the boat is still over the trailer I kind of developed this false sense of security and tried to go too fast and then the boat fell off the blocks and of course it landed on the trailer but now it's like eight inches crooked so couple of tries with the jack and the jack at an angle and I got the front straight and the same thing at the back I got it straightened out and then from here on especially as there's less and less trailer under the boat I kind of slowed down took my time a little more careful no more issues so I lifted the front of the boat with the little green hydraulic jack and I have moved the stack of blocks from in front of that cross member to the back of the cross member and got them wedged up tight so now I can pull out the, the hydraulic jack and I can roll the boat forward um, not much two and a half feet and then I hit the next cross member and I just had to keep doing that and when I got to the axles where it was really hard to get under the boat it got kind of time consuming but uh, not a problem everything went well and the boat did not fall anymore so this morning I've been working on the dolly and I think I have it ready to slide under the boat. I'm not too crazy about how much wood I had to cut from the main beams to get the height right, but that's what it had to be. And I got the clips here holding the board and I had to cut the tops off of these because they stuck out a little bit. I took a round over bit on the router and rounded that edge a little bit. I wanted to make sure this thing slides under there without issue. And the trailer is almost ready to come out. I got one more block of wood to move. And I got to go run an errand. So it's going to sit like this till this afternoon. And it's going to be kind of creepy when I pull the trailer out. Because right now the trailer is still under it. Of course the trailer is really only under part of it. Maybe this afternoon I'll have time and we'll get the boat on the dolly. I just moved my last stack of blocks from in front of this uh, trailer brace to the back of this trailer brace. And now the boat is not on the trailer in any way, shape, or form. It is held up magically by these sticks and these two jacks. 
and it's time to pull the trailer out and slide the dolly under it and just to show you how brave I am I'm gonna roll the camera you'll see it all Okay, well that's as far as I can go until I move a pile of blocks, but at least there's something under it now. I'm going to start the reverse process of moving the blocks, but the dolly only has one cross member. The trailer had one, two, three, four, five that I had to work around, so this is going to be a much quicker deal. Alright, so I took the weight off of that stack of blocks with the hydraulic jack and another stack of blocks, and I moved the original stack of blocks around to this side of the cross member. So now the dolly is free to roll backwards. So we rolled backwards until I hit the stack of blocks that was in the back. And I'll need to move it, and that may be the last stack we have to move. I'm not sure. So I skipped a step on my video in here. Um, once the dolly was under the boat, then I jacked up on the big boards that run down the side of the dolly until the dolly was holding the weight of the boat and got all the temporary um, cribbing out from under it and then lowered it back down so then the the boat was on the dolly and then I tried to roll it around and it my driveway is really sloped you can't really tell but it rolled right off the driveway into the dirt and it was kind of stuck um, kind of struggled here I thought these would roll better but two of the wheels the tires kept wanting to fall off and it would just they would get locked up so I spent a lot of time um, jacking up the dolly turning the wheels to face the direction I wanted them to go and then pulling them with a little riding lawnmower I was able to get it spun around but it's not something I can do by hand I need a little help so right here you can see I'm trying to pull it and it's trying to roll off into the dirt again um, if the if I was working in a warehouse where the floor was flat and smooth, this thing would be awesome. Still pretty good though. It let me turn the boat around. So I've got the boat where I want it and it's on the dolly, but it's really, really flexible. And and that's not going to work when I'm trying to do glass. It needs to be stiff and it's not level. So I'm going to put some blocks under the dolly. I'm going to get the front up a little bit, try to drain some of this water. This is going to be an ongoing problem. <clears throat> and level it side to side. And then put plenty of struts because the hull needs to not bounce when I start doing glass work. So the boat is level. I leveled it by putting one jack up here under the caster. And two jacks on it. Well, I had two jacks on this side and I replaced one with a stack of wood because that's a screw jack and it's never going to get tired and this was a hydraulic jack and I was scared it would leak down over time and I wouldn't notice it so I got the boat level and then it was kind of shaky so I added some vertical supports here I built the corner out and I built the corner out over here and now the boat is very stable and I put a board here to keep me from getting fiberglass in my behind every time I came in and out of the boat and I drilled some holes to dry, drain some of this water and it's about time to uh, cut out the first pair of stringers. Yuck. <laughs> 